Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're hopping in and we are talking update 13 and more importantly the talking the brand new base defense system that's getting added to the game in the new systems the mixer. So let's hop in and let's talk all about that new system that got added. So this is a mixer okay this little pink purpley thing that's over here the orb that's spinning all around in circles that is a mixer and what that is doing is it's letting up a bunch of noise. It's letting off noise, it's letting off light, and it's attracting bugs around it, and the bugs are aggroed to it and want to destroy it. Okay, so there is a lot that's going on in this video. You're going to see explosions, you're going to see things attacking you and all that. We're going to get into the explosions a little bit later on, but for now, I want to talk more about the mixers themselves. Okay, so the mixers themselves are these big purpley per pink things that look like the raw science generators, right? They look like raw science, and that's exactly what they're doing. This one in particular produces 2,000 raw science once you fill that little bar that's all the way over there. Okay, where it says mix.r overdrive, that is what is filling up slowly as you're defending wave after wave of bugs. Now, right now, I know of five of these. I know about this one right now that's over in the coal area. I also know about the one that is over in the hedge. There's one in the sandbox. There's one in the starting area. And there's one that's over in like the swampy-ish area, right between the swamp where all the mosquitoes and fireflies are and the hot dog wrapper that's over there, um, more to the left side of the yard over by the the rocks and stuff like that you know what i mean over towards this side of the yard that the characters are currently playing in before we go any further i do want to give a quick shout out to the obsidian team over at pax they did a fantastic job that their pax uh, gameplay which is what we are showing off here today was absolutely wonderful they did a fantastic job and i do really really appreciate everything that they put into um this little presentation that they did but let's talk a little bit more like i said there's five different um, arenas that you're going to have to fight. And I'm going to call them arenas, right? So with each of these five different arenas, you're going to fight different things. For this one, for instance, you're fighting, as you saw, black soldier ants and mosquitoes. That is this arena, right? This, this mixer. Another example is over in the hedge, you're going to be fighting larva and orb weavers. So it's different depending on what area you're in. For instance, if we think about maybe the sandbox one, that's probably going to have ant lines and either black ants or bees in there, something along those lines. And depending on where you are throughout the yard, you're going to be running into all of these different creatures and stuff like that, that you're going to have to fight off while trying to keep your little mixer alive. Because if you look right over here to my left, um, you will see that there is actually a red health bar for the mixer that the bugs are trying to destroy. Yes, the bugs actually do not aggro to you when you first start fighting. As soon as you turn that on, the bugs do not care about you unless you go through and attack them. Now, let's talk a little bit more about other things. So as you guys can see here, this is the mixer, right? And this area around is a little bit of a base that they have built to keep the mixer safe. Now, I know that it's a little weird with the clicking through here, but this is the mixer itself, okay? This thing is what you need to protect. It has a health bar, like I said, and as soon as you activate it, everything around you gets very, very, very angry with it. So you need to defend it from everything else around it. So how are you going to do that? Traps. They have added in new traps into the game for us to use. For instance, you can see those exploding things that are on the ground that a bomb was thrown and ignited one of those. Those are bursting burr weeds. It's a trap that explodes, right? Very, very dangerous and can actually kill you as well so you need to be careful with those ones when going through and fighting you also see your standard spike traps on the ground and there's also some other traps that are going to be coming to the game that they have not released out yet but i'm assuming we're going to be getting the honey trap soon i'm assuming we're going to be getting the catapult trap soon a lot of different traps are coming to help you with base defenses in this one there you go there's a great view of the burrow weeds right there for you so you can go through and see what's going on with those but like i said different bugs attack and it depends on what type of bug is attacking would depend on what you are going to be using to defend your base with. For instance, if you're not fighting any flying things, why would you put anything around the base that's going to protect from flying things? You're going to want to put everything on the ground, protect you from anything that's going to be on the ground per se. Um, so if we think about it, like um, mosquitoes, for instance, mosquitoes, you want something up in the air, but if it's just black ants, you can just put a bunch of spike traps down. And for the, generally, you're going to be pretty good with that selection that you made there. But you can see right here, as I pause this video here, that 
they're actually exploding these burweed these burweed traps and the worst part about these burweed traps is that they'll actually destroy your base as well so you need to be careful where you place these things because the traps do not only damage the bugs they'll damage everything else around them so going through there's a couple other small things that come in when it comes to base building and defending before we go any further i just want to point out that there is other types of base defense that's coming to grounded there is things like um nightly base raids that are going to be coming through there's a percentage of whenever you go back to your base that you will be raided now this can be turned on and off inside of custom games i would suggest that everybody has a custom game that they are playing on because they're going through and making it so you can turn certain things on and off they've promised more than just those two but those two types of defenses base defensing is all that they have announced so far so that tells me that we're going to be getting even more different types of base defending as well. What is that going to entail? I'm not sure yet, but there is a lot that's going to go into this when it comes to defending your base. Everybody asks for replayability, grounded delivered replayability by delivering out all these different things from new bugs to all these other things and including this base defense system. Now, if you guys haven't already, I did make a video going over all of the armor upgrade systems and all the different things that are going into that as well. So guys, go ahead and check that one out as well, shall we? So we're gonna continue playing on right here and there's just a couple more things that I wanna point out. Like I said earlier, you could see that the bugs are definitely aggroed to the base until you start attacking it yourself. You can see the mosquitoes flying around up at the top of the screen right now, completely ignoring the teen and going, I only want to destroy the base right now. That's what they want. They're after your base. They're not after you. So as a helpful tip for all of you guys, one thing you can do is you can actually activate the mixer because they don't cost anything to activate. You can walk up and activate the mixer, see what bugs are going to come out, and then start to plan your base from then on out. Don't try to build a base and then activate it because it could be a waste of your materials because once something is destroyed, you do lose part of the materials. So go through, give it a try by activating it first and then seeing what happens after that. Now, this is a really, really cool feature and this is just one of many things that are getting added in Update 13, which is coming out this coming week, which is the week of the 25th of April. So very, very, very excited. They're probably gonna end up being on Wednesday for all of you guys who are wondering, but I'm super excited. It's going to be really cool. And I hope all of you guys are as well. If you guys are, please hit that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below. And as always, guys, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.